PMMC permanent magnet moving coil so let's discuss it as you can see in the diagram there are two poles north pole and south poles this is our former and the coil having core at the between through this there is a cylinder shaped thing which are attached at the two ends with springs this is the upper spring and this is the lower spring and this is our pointer so what happens when there is no supply so no current flows through the circuit so this is our pointer suppose this is our pointer it's fixed at a zero position so the controlling torque acts on it what is this controlling torque doing it's holding back the needle to the zero position now when the supply is given that is current flows so what happens this needle which was in zero position as we, uh, we generally see in experiments it deflects so this deflection is because of the deflecting torque so when there is no current no supply only controlling torque acts and holds the needle in zero position now when supply is given current flows through the circuit deflecting torque comes in action which deflects the needle now as it is deflecting the controlling torque will also act it will try to pull back the spring like uh, this uh, needle is deflecting so the controlling torque is trying to get it back to the position so in this process of deflection and controlling uh, there will come a condition when both the torques will be equal and that equal position is the point when we take our readings like suppose this is a uh, pointer i have shown in the diagram poor diagram though so it deflects and when it's uh, still at the point or uh, stands still at a point at that point we take our reading okay advantage of this uh, it consumes less power high torque weight ratio and uniform scaling of the uh, pmmc disadvantage it is only used in the dc supply why dc supply uh, why not ac because in ac in the current reverses and in dc no reversal what will happen if current reverses if current reverses the torque will reverse that is the reason only dc is used another disadvantage is it is costly delicate gets hampered easily and the stiffness of the spring this spring with time gets uh, stiff okay these are the advantage disadvantage and the working principle now the torque equation so uh, as it is kept in a magnetic field so it will experience some force that is deflecting force okay deflecting force the expression for deflecting force is given as n into b into i into l where n is the number of turns b is the flux density i is the current and l is the length now because of this force some torque is generated this is deflecting torque deflecting torque because of this force this torque is created so torque is nothing but force into this this is our radius so now we can uh, write putting the value of fd and b i l into r so here in this expression you can see this n b l and r they remain fixed the only thing that changes is the current so td will be proportional to current so the current applied will change the deflecting torque as i said when the supply is given current is given deflecting torque comes in the action by this relation now is tau c this is our controlling torque okay now this controlling torque uh, depends on the deflecting angle the angle with which it is deflecting this theta is the deflecting angle so this is proportional to theta this is proportional to i this is proportional to theta current deflecting angle so i said at uh, equilibrium a position comes at equilibrium deflecting torque equals to controlling torque therefore we can say 
this deflecting angle is proportional to the current applied this is our torque equation